Would you support continued funding for the Liquor Commission? Not until they get rid of this ban on singing. I mean, that just sounds <laughs> awful. For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. The New Hampshire Liquor Commissioner sent us this letter and asked us if we saw you just to give it to you. What's that? Apparently, it's a trespass notice for any any liquor commission property. Uh, oh, there was actually an incident uh, where the uh, um, executive council had a ch well. The executive council oversees the budget to some extent of the liquor commission, correct? Right. Yep. Uh, and I've been raising concerns with executive council members about the fact that the liquor commission has essentially banned singing at its stores. Did you, what? Hear, did you hear about this? No. Now I'm sure if I went in there and sang, I could get away with it once. But there are there are a swath of people in New Hampshire that are banned from singing <laughs> in the liquor stores. Uh, so. <laughs> Knowing that, would you support continued funding for the Liquor Commission? Not until they get rid of this ban on singing. I mean, that just sounds <laughs> awful. Decent folks live in Christ. You guys are really Kara, you need to leave. Uh, it's always trying right. to brighten everybody's day, and they, you know, I, I, that, that's probably some sort of old thing. They ban singing because if some guy comes in singing, it probably is a, is a no, good no. indication that he might be intoxicated. It was recent, yeah, yeah. Well, intoxicated, imagine that. But it, it, it was recent because I guess about two, three years ago, some yeah. people started staging protests inside the liquor stores, <laughs> and they were protesting the hypocrisy of liquor being illegal without marijuana being legal. So yeah. they go in and sing pro marijuana songs. Uh, and they were issued without warning summonses or, or, or orders from the court or whatever that they were no longer allowed on any of those properties. Does that make sense? Uh, um, uh, <laughs> that's some weird random uh, questions, Rip. Um, no, I mean. If the union leader's going to ask you, I'm not going to ask you. Yeah, yeah. Well, the union leader doesn't ask me many questions. Um, I'd have to really take a hard look at that one. Um, but no, I, I don't think that there's any reason that we wouldn't. Be, you really can't ban funding to something that actually is essentially we're getting a net positive out of. I mean, I realize we're funding them to then give us more money. Obviously, we can't stop taking the liquor liquor uh, stores money. I'm kind of addicted to it. All right, Mr. Burns, straighter answers than I've gotten for any, any other EC. Hope you get in. Thank you. So I can get more straight answers from you. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Yep. No, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at lrn.fm to listen or broadcast their signal. lrn.fm. Feds don't want you to hear them.